So I'm gonna talk about this whole gospel music versus CCM debate and why it's a really stupid debate to be having. Hey, what's up? And welcome to Music Space, where we help working musicians just like you learn how to quickly and easily make a living with your craft. So if you're new here to the channel, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. So there's been this growing debate over the past few years of CCM music versus gospel music. And if you don't know what CCM music is, it's just short for contemporary Christian music. And we just refer to it as CCM music. But the debate has been about which music is better to play, which one is easier and why one shouldn't be playing one all the time versus the other one and all of that kind of stuff. And now that we're in sort of these racially tense times, there's been another component added to this debate and that's whether or not CCM music typically kind of thought of as white Christian music should be played and taught and performed in black churches versus black churches going back to their sort of gospel roots. Now, one of the issues with this is sort of what I just mentioned in putting music and art in general in racial context, especially in terms of calling one music black music and another music white music. While it's true that certain musical genres did originate in particular cultures, you know, black culture, white culture, you know, Asian culture, whatever the case may be, it's a mistake to put them in these social constructs that we tend to think of as race and as black and white. You know, we say that music is a universal language and that means it's supposed to transcend all of these sort of racial and constructual differences that we have with each other. We should simply acknowledge, give credit to, and appreciate the different cultures that they come from. Now, another issue with this debate is that both CCM music and gospel music are supposed to be about the same God. People who write gospel songs are Christians. People who write contemporary Christian songs are Christians. Actually, Christian is in the name CCM. You know, gospel songs like Jesus is real, John P. Key. Something about the name Jesus, Kirk Franklin. Contemporary Christian songs like There Was Jesus, Zach Williams. Or Jesus, Messiah, Chris Tomlin. All of these songs in both genres are talking about the same God. This sort of reminds me of like gangs and gang violence in the early 90s. You had these groups of gangs like, you know, one gang, and let's just refer to them as Fortes, you know, a nice musical term. Well, you had the Fortes, the Second Street Fortes, the MLK Fortes, and all of these other Fortes, and all of them was under the, you know, umbrella of Fortes, but they were all killing and fighting each other. And I never understood that. Like all of y'all are wearing the same colors and y'all are killing each other. I thought the, you know, the other people, the people who wore the other colors were supposed to be the adversaries and the enemies. And in the case of this whole CCM versus gospel music thing, I thought that the devil was supposed to be the adversary and the enemy. And another thing is, as I understand it, neither CCM or gospel music is supposed to be about you anyway. Isn't it supposed to be about the God that you serve? And if so, isn't saying that one is better than the other one or we should be doing gospel music instead of CCM more about you rather than about the God you serve? I mean, I don't imagine that you have any support from the scriptures that say, thou shalt play black gospel music over white contemporary Christian music. I have spoken. Now let's be honest about where this whole trend and debate started from anyway. It started from a movement of gospel musicians sort of complaining about the simplicity of contemporary Christian music. Now, while I will agree that generally speaking, gospel music tends to be a little bit more complex than contemporary Christian music, it has no relevance in your ability to play, perform, or grow as a musician. If you feel you aren't growing as a musician, it's not the fault of the music that you're playing or how simple or how complex that music is. It rests in the ability of you being able to sit down and learn new concepts practice them, apply them over time and grow over time. Furthermore, I would argue that playing less complex music affords you the opportunity to be more creative when approaching that music. If you're playing a contemporary Christian song with only four chords or four notes in the entire song, how are you gonna serve that song? How will you approach it on your instrument to make it more interested and give it life if you feel it doesn't have it? What sort of dynamics and expressions and other musical things will you use to put in the song to make it better? And when you think of it that way, guess what you've just done? You've taken a simple four chord song, you know, with four notes in it and approached it with some complexity. 
Anyway, where do you fall on this whole CCM versus gospel music debate? Do you feel that CCM music is too simple and gospel music is just where it's at? You know, jump down in the comment section and let me know your thoughts so we can dialogue about it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.